Hello everyone, this is Albert, your Medicare Maniac, and today I'm going to go over Part D. The section I'm going over is what's the Part D late enrollment penalty? Please follow along. I'm on page 77 of the Medicare and You book, of course, the 2020 version. Let us begin. What's the Part D late enrollment penalty? The late enrollment penalty is an amount that's permanently added to your Part D premium. You may owe a late enrollment penalty if at any time after your initial enrollment period is over, there's a period of 63 or more days in a row when you don't have to pay Part D, when you don't have Part D or other credible prescription drug coverage. You generally have to pay the penalty for as long as you have Part D coverage. Note, if you, don't, if you get extra help, you don't pay a late enrollment penalty. Three ways to avoid paying a penalty. Number one, join a Medicare drug plan when you're first eligible. Even if you don't take prescriptions now, you should consider joining a Medicare prescription drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan that offers drug coverage to avoid a penalty. You may be able to find a plan that meets your needs with little to no monthly premiums. That's important. For, with little to no monthly premiums. See pages five through nine to learn more about your choices. Number two, enroll in a Medicare drug plan if you lose other credible coverage. Credible prescription drug coverage could include drug coverage from a current or former employer or union, TRICARE, Indian Health Service, the Department of Veteran Affairs, or individual health insurance coverage. Your plan must tell you each year if your drug coverage is credible coverage. If you Go 63s or more in a row without a Medicare drug plan or other credible prescription drug coverage, you may have to pay a penalty if you join later. Item number three, keep records showing you when you had credible drug coverage and tell your plan if they ask about it. If you don't tell the plan about your credible prescription drug coverage, you may have to pay a penalty for as long as you have Part D. Now, page 78 of the Medicare and You book, how much more will I pay? The cost of the late enrollment penalty depends on how long you didn't have credible prescription drug coverage. Currently, the late enrollment penalty is calculated by multiplying 1% of the national base beneficiary premium, which is $32.74 in 2020, by the number of full uncovered months that you were eligible but did not join a Medicare drug plan and went without other pres credible prescription drug coverage. The final amount is rounded to the nearest tenth and added to your monthly premium. Since the national base beneficiary premium may increase each year, the penalty amount may also increase each year. After you join a Medicare drug plan, the plan will tell you if you owe a penalty and what your premium will be. Here's an example. Mrs. Martin didn't join a drug plan when she was first eligible by June 2017. She doesn't have prescription drug coverage from any other source. She joined a Medicare drug plan November 2019 and her coverage began on January 1st of 2020. Since Mrs. Martin was without credible prescription drug coverage from July 2017 to December 2019, her penalty in 2020 is 30%, 1% for each of the 30 months of the 3274, the national base premium for 2020, which is only $9.82. The final amount is rounded up to the nearest tenth, so she'll be charged $9.80 each month in addition to her plan's monthly premium in 2020. She'll continue to pay a penalty for as long as she has Part D coverage, and the amount may go up each year. So here's the math, here's this example, 30% penalty, times 32.74 equals 982. So they rounded up to 980. Mrs. Mar Mrs. Martin's monthly late enrollment penalty for 2020 rounded to the nearest tenth. What if I don't agree with this penalty? If you disagree with your penalty, you can ask for a review or reconsideration. Generally, you must request this review within 60 days from the date on the first letter you get stating you have to pay a late enrollment penalty. You'll need to fill out a reconsideration request form that your Medicare drug plan will send you by the date listed in the letter. You can provide proof that supports your case, like information about previous credible prescription drug coverage. If you need help, call your plan. 
That concludes this session of the Part D Late Enrollment Penalty. Thank you so much for your time. Have a blessed day.